unfortunately, the eleven has met its untimely demise. I don't have it anymore. It's not here. But I did get another car. It's running outside. Let me pull it in real quick and show you guys. Here she is. I got a got a 370, which is cool. Did not ever expect to ever own one of these, to be honest. But I'm glad I do. I love it. Um, I actually really like this more than my 350. Funny enough, the interior for me it feels better to be in. It just yeah. We do have a nice touch on the roof which I heavily heavily rock with done by the one and only Oz Garage. Funny enough this actually used to be his car his old one but I'm glad I own it now and it rips. It rips. She's not perfect by any means but she's perfect for me. Not gonna lie, this thing is not perfect, but it's got some clunks going on in the front, which I think it's two different clunks. I suspect one of them to be the coilover, and the other one I really don't know what the hell it could be, but that'll be fun to figure out. I don't think it's anything too serious, to be honest. One of these I for sure think is the coilover, for sure, but I think it'll be fun to figure out. So to me, to be honest, it feels like the top hat is loose, which I mean, it kind of does look like it. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten, tighten up that guy. We're also gonna get this wheel off and get a look at what's going on under here. So honestly, I just gave it a quick shake down. Nothing, nothing's loose down here. Um, everything's tight, everything looks good. No, nothing looks loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten up this uh, top hat, check this other side, make sure that's all good, and I guess take it for a test drive. <laughs> So now that the wheel's off the ground, this thing doesn't free spin. So I'm gonna jack it up real quick and hit it with the impact. I completely double checked this whole top side of this coilover, as well as this side. It's good to go. Um, now I'm just gonna do a quick bolt check on all this bullshit down here. I'm gonna save you guys some time and not film any of it. I'm also gonna bend that back that little bracket cool so here's that other clunking issue hopefully I can pick it up pretty good it's when I turn the wheel I low-key wish I had somebody else here to help me so they could wiggle the wheel while I get the stethoscope and get a good listen but I think it might be the sway bar end links to be honest I don't know if they're going bad or or what but I think that kind of leaves it for today with this thing so I know it's got a pretty good exhaust leak unfortunately I'll probably fix that another day it probably will be in this video but another day when I come back I don't really have anything else to do to this thing it was just more or less figuring out those clunks if I come up with anything, I guess you guys will see. I also think this thing's on the chopping block. When 
I pull up next, I'll definitely give you guys a better look at this thing because it is pretty cool. That's kind of everything I had planned to do today. It was just nice and quick because I low key am dailying this, and that clunk and thumping was tripping me out. But I think we got it figured out. I'm gonna go take it for a quick test drive, bring you guys along, and then yeah. <laughs> It feels way better coming down that gravel road. It's not so clunky. Um, but yeah, let's go for a little rip ski. I think this thing has a broken motor mount. The whole shifter assembly and I thought the tranny just shift to the right. today found out a bunch um, so today we're gonna fix a good amount of the issues hopefully today um, yeah um, still this thing still has a clunk down low don't know what it is don't know what it could be um, hopefully Oz can help me figure that out today and then in the rear, I found out that the diff bolts are loose and the clutch slave is leaking a little bit. The steering rack's leaking. Hopefully I can show you guys all that. But I'm gonna take this bumper off. Right off rip. Gotta zip tie this guy out of the way. I do also got some oil. Get this thing all down. Get this thing up in there and uh, tighten up the diff. Okay, so check the diff bolts. They were actually tight. Funny enough. But this side does have more camber than this side so I'm gonna quickly adjust that so another thing I need to quickly hit is that little bracket I'm just gonna quickly hammer it because it is touching 
So, I hammered it, bent it. Also found out that these that the V-band for the exhaust was loose. So I tightened that up real quick. Now we got some room. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and lower the rear and move to the front and do the oil change on this thing, get it out of the way. So we've got this thing up in the air. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain this oil. Luckily it's right there. Nice and easy. stethoscope I was able to determine oh, okay. that the clunk noise the lower clunk noise was coming from the steering rack and obviously as you guys seen I just tightened it and it's fixed cool <laughs> can't wait to rip it I'm gonna figure out what else I need to do real quick and maybe film it maybe not but I'm gonna throw the bumper on real quick too I just decided to cut the video short and end it now that way I can just get this video out it is a bit of a short one so apologies but I'll see you